All right, here we are again, back at the bench, uh, returning to the big combination project from Electronic Projects for Musicians, Project 6 and Project 7, the uh, Ultra Fuzz and the Bass Fuzz. So, in the previous videos I talked about combining Project 1 with Project 6 and Project 7 to kind of come up with this big master circuit that would be tweakable and get uh, any kind of sound in between these projects. So, started with those three and combined them to create this schematic which I explained in the previous video and I was dead wrong about what that was doing. Um, without all of this stuff, if all that was open, this is a comparator or a comparator. So basically that sets a threshold voltage and any voltage that's greater than that, this thing basically maxes out. <clears throat> so it gives you a very, very hard clip square wave. Anyway, so I redrew this again and I took these these bits like you know, this 5 picofarad and 470k resistor from project 1 and from project 7 we had 1 meg and a 270 picofarad. I kind of split all that out and simplified that part even more and I also did something else with this. So <clears throat> this is the new schematic and not really any changes over here but I took the comparator part out and here's my simplified switching for that basically I have three different capacitor values there to kind of set the tone we've got the clipping diodes and we have the from project one a 470k resistor and in project seven it was up to a meg so i'm going to put a 500k pot there to adjust it so that'll be the top part of the circuit and then i was going to move the comparator section down here and that's how i'm going to be setting the bias from positive through that resistor through the diode, use that as my bias point through another diode, through that resistor to ground, and in between these two voltages, this should be about a 1.4 volt difference between that point and that point, and that 10K pot right there will set the intensity for this comparator. And then I thought, well, all right, instead of setting a volume, let's do like a fade or a, um, a blend, if you will. And these are going to wind up being out of phase more than likely. So this is going to sound really weird. I have no clue what it's going to sound like. But um, what I'm going to do now is get one of my circuit boards here that has these four op amps on it. I'm going to be using three of them. And I'm also going to build this thing in stages. So the first thing I want to do is I want to build this up even though I'm not going to use that pot until later and build up this part of the circuit and we can test that and see what it looks like. It's time to go to a montage. Right. So here we go, we're off and running, and I am adding what I think is the dual op amp there and building up the power supply section. Lots and lots of soldering. It's amazing to see that this was like 30 minutes of, of me working here. All right, so then I started pulling the electronics off of the breadboard and started adding them to the circuit board. Turns out this was not a good idea. So I wind up doing something else 
you know, after I've got all that stuff in there, then I thought, you know what? I need to make an enclosure for this thing. Yeah, so the problem with not having the enclosure, all the electronics are flopping around. There's a lot of stress and strain on there, and I kept breaking stuff. So I grabbed, um, what is this? This is a Hammond 1590BB enclosure, and I put in uh, the quarter inch input output jacks. I put in the 2.1 millimeter power input and drilled holes for the volume knobs and other adjusty knobs and also put in a couple of uh, toggle switches and it turns out that was a lot easier it was, it was a lot you know, safer it didn't stress out the uh, components on the circuit board but even this uh, eventually got a little bit too hairy um, you know, there, with all the extra wires and stuff, it kept getting in the way. So I wound up doing it again. What I wound up doing was this board is actually suspended by these steel wires here. So I've got a ground going off to there. I've got the positive power supply up in this corner and also have the input coming out on that side. <clears throat> now, way down in there, you can see three different capacitors. One of them is the standard uh, 0.1 microfarad. That's the, uh, the red guy there. And these other two are the 47 picofarad and the 10 microfarad, which gives a really nice bass boost to this guy. 